Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're going to be working on my car and my Ford Fiesta. We're going to be changing its brake pads. On the previous one we finalized all the Punto uh, maintenance, but I noticed that the discs, the brake discs were, were a little bit worn off. So uh, we're going to change that in the next video. I already bought the, all the parts that we're going to need. It came together with the brake pads for my Fiesta, I'm gonna change, uh, gonna show you what I got here. So this is all the pieces that I bought, the brake pads for the Fiesta, and uh, all we got new brake discs, new brake pads, of course, and two tie rods for the front. So that is what I bought for the Punto, but uh, th in this video I'm going to be working only in the Fiesta. I'm going to show you step by step how to change these uh, brake pads. Uh, but uh, first of all, let's lift the front of the car up and uh, see how we're going to do this. I, uh, bought my, uh, I brought my, my laptop. It has the manual, uh, the workshop manual. I'm gonna uh, read it and uh, go from there. So let's go, guys. Now that the wheel is off and the car is lifted in the air, let's begin the work. First of all, we need to take out this uh, support right here. Let me see how it comes out. We can just push, push it. Just push out. There it is, just push this out and it comes relatively easy. Now, so next, after we remove the support right that was over here, we're gonna need to take out this cap to access Let's see there it is just with a screwdriver and it comes off let me get see what is inside okay it's a bolt now there's two bolts that are hidden inside the caps you need to take them both out so let's take these two bolts out so we can take the brake caliper off. Now that the bolts are off, let's try to get this caliper out of here. It's been a couple of years, so it's a, bit, a little bit seasoned, but let's try with a hammer to see if it comes off.
So here it is, the brake caliper is off. Now let's take the brake pads out. caliper here so that the holes don't get too much pressure and bends we do not want it so this is the brake pads they are not too bad of a state I, I think it, they were worse but they were making noise and I want to get rid of that noise so let's fetch the new ones uh, and compare it but before we put the new ones in we need to clean all the surface of contact uh, so it uh, will function correctly in the future so wait a second I'm gonna get the new ones so this is the new ones compare with the same one that is used it's a little bit surface lost but not very much see these were still good for much miles maybe a couple of 40 40 maybe 30 thousand miles uh, but uh, but I was not liking the noise that they were making uh, I'll, when I turn the, the wheels uh, it will always make a noise uh, it seemed like it was uh, uh, in contact with the surfaces and it was making lots of noise that in a new car it's it's not too good so these are the new ones now the other side here it is it's a little bit worn off but not too much so the old ones are going to the bin the new ones I'm gonna set it here on the floor because first we're gonna need to clean all the surface with some brake cleaning cleaner and uh, then we're gonna need to push the piston back um, I have some a couple of tools to do that but first of all let's clean up all this rust and grime that is over here on the surface and uh, we'll go from there So now that the surface, surfaces of contact are all clean, uh, I'm gonna push the piston on the caliper back so that the new brake pads that has more material can um, 
can be put in place. Otherwise, it will not. Will it wouldn't have enough space to um, to fit. So, so let's bring the tools and start with the job. Now that we got the piston back on its original spot, let's try to put the, the calipers in. Um, just for now, um, not definitively, uh, I'm gonna just put it in to see if uh, the piston is retracted enough so they can fit. So I'm gonna put this one, it fits with the piston, it has these nudges that uh, slide in the piston. So, after a struggle, they fit just nicely. So let's take this off one last time. Uh, let's put some lubricant uh, on the contact areas so they do not make any noise. Try to put the caliper here. Okay, I'm gonna change the gloves because this these ones aren't gone. So now that I got a new couple of gloves, of gloves, let's let's just do a last cleanup in the disc using a new cloth, so that is no contaminants at risk. Uh, the the performance of the brake. So now that is all cleaned, let's put some lubricants and finish up. So this is a good quality lubricant, it resists high temperatures and, uh, and the weather. Um, it's supposed to last a long time, let's see. So I put all in the contact areas some lubricant, in the pads also. So now let's finish up the assemble and be done with this side so we can start with the, the other side. Now that this is uh, bolted in, let's uh, see what the torque specs are for these two bolts and torque it all to spec. So let's try to torque it all up.
So now that it's started to spec, let's put this support back in. So the support is in, let's put the two caps to take off in the beginning, back on. So that's it for this side. I'm gonna put the car. Uh, I'm gonna start the car and uh, hit the brake pedal a couple of times, so the piston can close the gap and be in its right spot. So this side is all done. Uh, the piston. Uh, it's in its place uh, now we're gonna do we're going to do the other side and I'm not going to show step by step because it's the same So that's it, the job is done, uh, I already punched the pedal a lot of times so that the pistons can sit in place. Uh, now, before we end this video, you're going to need to clean all this mess because it is a mess right now. So let's clean it up. So that's it, the shop is all clean, the car is ready and this will be the end of this video. So guys, if you like this video please give us a sub and a like and leave your comments down below as usual. Guys, thank you much, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!